India is building one of the most advanced stealth frigates in Asia, the Nilgiri class, proudly under the Make in India initiative. So here's the million dollar question. Why is India still buying tall war class warships from Russia? In the middle of a push for indigenization, why go back to Russia? Is this strategic dependence or smart naval pragmatism? In today's episode of Strategic Vanguard, we decode this fascinating paradox and what it tells us about India's real-time maritime strategy. Stay till the end, because this is not just about warships, it's about India's position in the emerging global order. Before we move forward, please like, subscribe and share Strategic Vanguard and be up to date with the latest news and happenings from the world of defense and strategic affairs. Tune into our video channels in Rumble and YouTube. And if you want to hear the audio version, please tune into Strategic Vanguard Deep Dive in Spotify. Let's begin with the two classes of warships in question. First, the Nilgiri class frigates, part of Project 17A, are India's most advanced indigenous stealth warships. Displacing over 6,600 tons, equipped with BrahMos missiles, MF star radar, and next gen sensors, these are serious multi role combatants built for blue water dominance. On the other hand, we have the Talwar class frigates. Based on the Russian Krivak 3 design, India already operates six of them, and in 2018, India signed a deal to acquire four more two from Russia, and two to be built at Goa shipyard. Now the question arises. If the Nilgiris are superior and being built in India, why go back to a Russian platform? Here's the hard truth. India's naval shipbuilding, while ambitious, has faced delays. Project 17A was supposed to deliver earlier, but the first ship, INS Nilgiri, is just inducted to India's eastern fleet. Others will follow, but staggered over years. Meanwhile, the Chinese Navy has been expanding at breakneck speed, launching warships almost like cars off an assembly line. India cannot afford to have a capability vacuum in its frontline fleet. That's where the Tall War class comes in. A reliable, tested platform that can be inducted faster, with known supply chains and trained crew. In military terms, this is called bridging the capability gap. Then there's the strategic angle. Russia remains a crucial defense partner. From the BrahMos missile to nuclear submarines like INS Chakra and even the S-400 air defense system, the India-Russia defense partnership is deep and multifaceted. Buying more Talwar-class frigates isn't just about hardware, it's about keeping this relationship alive. Especially in a world where India balances multiple powers, the US, France, Russia and others. In fact, the current deal even includes transfer of technology and domestic production. 